So then guys, with the introduction of the M4, M4 Pro and the M4 Max and the likes of the new MacBook Pros, a lot of you guys are wondering, well, what is going to change for the new MacBook Air? Well, we'll also have the M4 inside of it. Well, today I want to tell you everything we know about the new 13 and 15 inch MacBook Air, what's gonna have the M4 chipset and also some other upgrades too. And with that, let's get started right away. Now, currently the MacBook Air is going through its fourth design change. And this design change came out in 2022 when we got the M2 put inside of it. The design is absolutely amazing. It's got a MagSafe free connection on the side. And we also have two Thunderbolt 4 ports on the same size as the MagSafe charger. The MacBook Air is completely fanless. There's no fans or anything like that inside so you don't hear any noises even if you push it to its limits and then at the beginning of 2024 we had the introduction of the M3 put inside the likes of the 13 and the 15 inch MacBook Air but the thing was when that was first introduced the minimum amount of RAM that you could get inside of either of these machines was eight gigabytes of RAM. Now, a lot of people out there, including myself, complain that here we are in 2024 and eight gigabytes of RAM is the minimum you can get. Well, the great news is when Apple just recently introduced the M4, M4 Pro and the M4 Max new MacBook Pros and the Mac Mini and the iMac, the other introduction they also brought out was that the MacBook Air the 13 and the 15 inch with the M3 now has the base configuration of 16 gigabytes of RAM inside of it. What is really, really great to see. And then best of all, that Apple even managed to maintain the price exactly the same. So what we were buying for eight gigabytes of RAM is the same price as the 16 gigabytes. And this was really, really great news to hear when we got this too. But the thing what I would be saying right now is that a lot of you guys are probably thinking, oh, I might get myself the new MacBook Pro because it's got the M4 inside of it and things like this. Well, you might want to hold out because if you are a big fan of the MacBook Air models, well, the M4 MacBook Air 13 and 15 inch isn't that far away. We've had this leak come in here from Mark German, who's told us that the M4 MacBook Airs are already in production, what is really great news to hear. And it's looking likely that it could be released in early time of 2025, in the early months there. And this would be very similar to what we got this year when we got the new M3 MacBook Airs. Obviously that was with eight gigabytes of RAM inside of it, but they came out the very beginning of March time. So this is really great news that Apple on top of this and we're going to get a very similar maybe time frame to this this time round. But you're probably also wanting to know well what other changes are we going to get with the MacBook Air? Well, it's unlikely we're gonna get anything like a brand new design with the MacBook Air. At the end of the day, like I said, it was the M2, then the M3 models have had this design and Apple like to keep their MacBook designs around for at least four or five generations. So don't expect anything like an OLED display coming to this or a touchscreen or a brand new design all together to the MacBook Air. Expect the exact same design that we have right now with like the M2 and the M3 series but the big difference is that obviously you will be getting the introduction of the M4 inside of it. And the great news is we already know what the speed is of the M4, where we've had some leak bench scores already out for it. As you can see in this chart right here, we're getting single core performance of 3,800. What is absolutely amazing. This is way higher than the 2,300 sort of score that we got in single core score for the M1 MacBook Air. And even though that was really, really impressive, the other great thing is that we've got a really amazing speed of around about 15,000. 288 or 15,300 almost in multi-core performance. And this is almost double the amount of speed that we had with the multi-core performance for the M1, what was around about 8,300. So this is really, really great to see that the M4 is leaps and bounds ahead, especially, you know, just in the matter of four years. Now, obviously what this is, this is the 10 core version of the CPU. There is a nine core version, what has one less CPU, because what the M4 is made up of, it's either got inside of it six efficiency cores and then either four or three performance cores inside of this device. 
But either way you look at it, it's gonna be a real screamer if you got yourself a M4 MacBook Air over compared to say the old M1 MacBook Air, or even if you had the MacBook Pro M1, for example. This machine is really, really, going to perform for you. And then best of all, especially that Apple have just introduced 16 gigabytes of RAM for the M3 is the base amount of RAM we can get. Well, the great news is with the M4 MacBook Air, we're also gonna get 16 gigabytes of RAM. Depending, you know, even if you pick on say the nine core CPU, or even if you pick the 10 core one, 16 gigabytes of RAM is gonna be the base amount. And then of course, you'll be able to push that up further to at least the 24 gigabytes of RAM option. And you may even potentially push it even further and this is going to be amazing to see in the next MacBook Air configurations that we're going to get. But then for storage amounts, most likely, again, we're going to keep the same configuration. So I would actually say that we're probably going to have 256 gigabytes as the base amount of storage. This is the next thing Apple need to work on, really. Should be offering at least 512, I think, now in 2025 when these new MacBook Airs come out. But it looks like it'll probably still be the 256. There will also be the offering of 512 gigabytes, the one terabyte, and also the two terabyte storage too, inside of the, either the 13 or the 15 inch model. So this is still looking really, really great to see. But there is something else, what is another bonus, what is gonna be coming to the new MacBook Air over the current M3 MacBook Air. And I want to tell you all about that right after I tell you about the channel giveaway for this. That's right guys, I'm giving away an iPhone 16 Pro Max to one lucky subscriber on this channel near the end of December time, just before Christmas. And all you have to do right now to enter in at this stage is just put down into the comments below of what technology gear you're hoping to get before the end of 2024, or even into 2025. This can be Apple related or non-Apple related, so maybe you're gonna get yourself a new Mac or something like this, a new iPhone, you know? Or it could be that you're gonna get yourself the PS5 Pro or even the Switch 2 if it comes out in the early part of 2025. Fingers crossed because I so want one. But the other thing I want to quickly tell you though is that this here is an iPhone 16 Pro Max, the Desert Titanium, Titanium Desert, with 256 gigabytes of storage built into it. And like I said, all you have to do at this, this time is just put that comment down below. But what you also need to do is make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell because near the Christmas time, just before the 20th of December, I'm going to be making an announcement on my channel here where I'm gonna give you more details about the giveaway. There will be like a video giving you some more info, like how to fill in a form and things like this, what you also need to do near the time. And then also I'll be letting you guys know when I'm gonna be doing the live stream for this iPhone 16 Pro Max and we'll be picking the winner just before Christmas time. So like I said, if you don't wanna miss out on that, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. And also also, you need to be a subscriber because like I said, I'm giving away to a subscriber on this. But the last thing I just want to quickly say to you guys is sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me too, telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram, direct message by Instagram, you name it. Please do ignore these people or better so you can see right here, please do report them. So then moving on from this then, what is the little secret I want to tell you about the MacBook Air? Well, I think it's a little bit of an obvious one when you think about it and you see where I'm going with this right away. Have a look here at the M3 versus the M4 MacBook Pro. As you can see here in battery life, we've got an extra two hours battery life. The main reason is because the M4 is so more efficient than the M3. It gives us a way better battery life. And this is the reason why like the likes of the iPad Pro was made slimmer but kept at the 10 hour battery life because Apple could do this. The great thing is, like I said, Apple are not ditching this design anytime soon, just like they didn't ditch the MacBook Pro design. So this means that the same size battery is probably gonna be supplied as we've had with the M3 and the M2, but the difference is with the M4 being even more efficient, we're expecting that battery life to go up even more inside of the MacBook Airs, what's gonna be absolutely incredible to see. So both MacBook Airs at the moment, the 13 and the 15 inch model, 
give us up to an 18 hour battery life. But personally, I think with the M4 inside of it, this will go up even more and we could get up to a 20 hour battery life out of the either the 13 or the 15 inch model, what is really, really great to see. This obviously is a 10% increase in sort of battery, but you know, any increase is better than nothing at all. It's better to be going up than going down as it were. So this is definitely gonna be helping you guys out to definitely get a full battery life per day. This is gonna be awesome to see in 2025 when the new MacBook Airs come out. The last thing I also wanna say is about the price of the MacBook Airs. Personally, I do not see the prices increasing, especially like the likes of the MacBook Pros. None of the prices increased here, and even though we had the upage in sort of RAM amounts and things like this, and other new technologies added, like the new 12 megapixel sort of camera, and I think this is also gonna be added to the MacBook Airs too, but I don't think there's gonna be any kind of price increase. So the same sort of pricing that we have right now for the M3 and also the M2 MacBook Air is what we're gonna get next time. And I also personally think that the M2 MacBook Air is gonna be ditched and that the M3 will fill its spot. So we'll have the choice that you'll be able to buy the M4 MacBook Air in either a 13 or 15 inch, but the M3 version, you'll only be able to buy that in the 13 inch. And of course that will still come with 16 gigabytes of RAM in 2025 after the M4 version comes out. But really guys, that is the latest and greatest we know about the MacBook Air. Are you gonna be holding out to go and get one of these new machines when they come out in early 2025? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And with that as well guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also you can hear the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons too. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care, bye bye.